Hi, this is Bonzi. Everyone has got it better than you in Hollywood. You can. I mean, I started writing songs like when I was like 10 or so because I just loved music. I loved records. I loved singer songwriters like um, so I would just write songs for fun. And then when I was like 12 or so, I wanted to perform my songs and my parents were like, no, and they wouldn't drive me to like the, the coffee shop that in Wisconsin that I wanted to play at. But, um, you know, eventually uh, I think they realized it wasn't a phase. And I think that's probably when that sort of mindset shifted and they started to like accept it. But um, I kept it a secret for a long time that I wrote songs or that I had interest in music because it was like not a, a socially acceptable thing in my small community in Wisconsin, you know? Yeah, I definitely think it's a natural evolution that's happened over the years. I mean, I started making music when I was 15 and um, since then I've just accumulated different knowledge and life experiences. And I've always written my own music. I've always been my only writer. So it just kind of naturally has evolved. I've done certain things uh, stylistically on purpose um, to do a specific intentional thing. But uh, for the most part, I think it's, I think it's just a natural evolution that would happen for anyone doing independent music for this long. Can try be one. I like to pay attention to what's happening in mainstream music. I think it's interesting. It's culture, so culture is always evolving, and we're all part of culture, whether or not we uh, know it. Um, so, uh, I, I suppose modern sort of how music has changed and evolved over the years has also influenced me. Um, but at the same time, certain fundamental values that I have in what I do, I keep consistent. So I, I always like to write my own stuff. Uh, this record, I'm the only producer, so I'm fully self-produced it. Um, and those are things that are important to the um, integrity of what I do. So I've, I've kept that the same, but I do like the different modern trends and you know it's nice to pay attention sometimes I f personally feel really lucky to be in this like generation of musicians i think that it does allow for totally independent music to have a shot at reaching people the internet is awesome i'm so glad that i'm living at the time of the internet obviously like there are so many things that i could also complain about <laughs> being an independent musician there's a million things that uh, are stacked against us but um there are some things st stacked for us and i think uh, focusing on that, focusing on the people who, who do listen and pay attention to my stuff is, uh, makes me, you know, encourages me. I have, um, a lot of people who are finding my music for the first time and I hear from them. Somebody came to my, I played a show in Los Angeles last year and somebody came and said, hey, last time I saw you, you were 16 performing at the Whole Foods in Chicago. And I was like, whoa, that's crazy. You know, so it's really fun to hear about like people who like saw me in Chicago perform like when I was like 15, 16, 17. That's always uh, really amazing. Um, but it's also amazing, like the new people, too, who, you know, find my music and it connects with them in, in some way. That's really awesome to hear as well. I definitely think this record, when I found The Trap Door, is, I've worked on it for over a little over two years now. So it's definitely that period of time after COVID um, 
everybody I talk to says to me like the time frame bef after COVID and before COVID feel like two totally different like times. And I feel that too. I think um, there's been a lot, it's moved really fast. Life feels very fast post COVID. Um, a lot has happened for me personally and people I know. So all of that's in the record. Um, if, if there is a different tone, uh, I guess I'm not conscious of it. it there might be um, just because of whatever space I've occupied in the last few years. right now the point of no return and do you know who I am and um, yeah it's certainly like my most ambitious project yet um, I fully self-produced it so it's the first time I've been the only producer on a full record um, it's also the first time that I worked with the live orchestra which was like a life-changing experience yeah it's just something i haven't done before i've had strings on records but it's usually one player that um you know layers themselves which is also super cool um and has its own sort of special thing but having an orchestra is just this vision that i have that like this time i'm gonna go for it you know i'm gonna try to try to to incorporate that and it's um was just like an amazing experience in music that I had not had before. One of my favorite artists of all time is Elizabeth Cotton and she was a, a folk, blues, acoustic guitar, singer, songwriter, and her recordings are as raw as it can get you know it's just acoustic guitar and her vocal presumably live you know one or two takes so there's something really special about stripped down raw sort of content but there's also something so beautiful about beautiful production when you hear like amazing production and headphones and all of this and that so i like to put the two together because i value both of those um, aesthetics and I think they're both so powerful and have a place in a record um, I love the stripped down like you know not pretty just raw emotion and performance but I also love the like beautiful beautiful orchestra or whatnot you know yes um, Instagram Bonzi B-O-N-Z-I-E uh, Twitter Bonzi B-O-N-Z-I-E YouTube, Bonzi Music. <laughs> no, actually, that is Bonzi. That one's Bonzi. Bonzi Music is TikTok. Um, yeah, so B O N Z I E all over the, all over the world. Hi, my name is Bonzi, and you've just been buzzed. <laughs>